Hello, I'm Jody Wolf, and you're watching Exposed, March 26, 2018, 9.16 p.m. Birmingham. Topic, he did it. Donald Trump started the wall today. This is March 26. I'm looking at it right now. And I'm going to let you hear them talk about it. President Trump said construction on the border wall to begin immediately, as in today. This is today. This is on Fox News Channel, Fox and Friends. It was on today, March 26. Here is one of the Fox hosts interviewing one of the Border Patrol. And I mentioned to you they were going to use the Army Corps, and he even talks about that. The wall is underway. The wall is underway. Now, listen to this. Don't you hear this? Three minutes, 36 seconds long, and you'll be impressed. This is a gentleman talking hours before the construction of the wall began. Listen to this. President Trump says construction for the border wall will begin immediately, as in today. The president took to Twitter Sunday offering this tweet. He says, well, uh, tweeting this, because of the 700 to $716 billion to rebuild our military, many jobs are created when the military again rich. Building a great border wall with drugs, poison, and enemy combatants pouring into our country is all about national defense. Build wall th through military, the end, meaning military. So... Should the military help build this wall? If so, is it the National Guard? Let's discuss it with the president of the local 2544 National Border Patrol Council, Art DiQueto. Uh, Art, thanks so much for joining us. Can we use the National Guard slash military to do something like this? You know, Brian, we, we, thanks for having me on. Um, we use the Army Corps of Engineers to build the current fencing that's there right now. Um, can you imagine what they could do if they used a real uh, good equipment to build a wall? Uh, the current fencing that is up there that they built, they used the old uh, Vietnam uh, material. So we'd welcome them to build the wall. Right. We would welcome them to build the wall. And using some of that money, evidently there's some vindictiveness on the left that the right left happened that says you will not use concrete. Is that a problem for you? You know, I think at this point we have uh, President Trump has put the right engineers out there to see what works and what doesn't work. We just need the experts to do their job. That's what it comes down to. And you can't put a price on border security. The reality is that we need a better system, a better wall in specific locations. It helps the agents tremendously, and it's a huge help for the entire country. You know, we saw that up close and personal. Where, if I said to you, okay, we got the whole southern border, we got all these states, where do you need it the most? Where should we start? You know, there's several areas. There's several areas. I mean, obviously, there's some areas that have, uh, you know, natural barriers, but there's still areas in Texas that are wide open. There's areas uh, here in Arizona that, that need much better uh, deterrent than what we currently have. And that's what it comes down to, especially when you see, you know, it's, you're not talking about just illegal aliens that are coming into a country. You're seeing a huge drug epidemic. You know, I currently work in the Tucson sector where it's still, you know, close to 50% of all the drug seizures in the entire country are apprehended here in this sector. There's a lot of things that need to be done. That wall is very, very important. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that the voters expected. I think uh, the Republicans control the House, they control the Senate, and they control the White House. And there are certain things that need to be done, and they're being really slow about uh, letting the president do what he, needed, he needs right. to do. But you know one thing I'm heartened by? September, they got to do this again. And $1.6 billion, you can get a lot done. And you're probably not going to be short of money to spend $1.6 billion in a very short period of time. By September, they're going to look at this, and I'm sure the president's not going to let them get away with that. The other thing I think it's important to, to bring up is that uh, the military is used to doing things like building bridges to fight wars uh, when they come across a ballot. If you tell the military to get something done, they'll get it done. Brian, it's like I said at the beginning. You know, they did what they did so far with old, outdated material. If you give them the proper material, they'll do a fantastic job. There's no doubt in my mind. There's no doubt in a lot of the agents' minds. Uh, there's a lot of things that need to be done. Uh, I know, and we're going to have you back. Uh, uh, Art Del Cueto, thanks so much for joining us. The president of local 2544 National Border Patrol. Appreciate it. Okay.
I don't know about you, but I am extremely happy about this. And let me insert something. If you go to the Middle East, look at their structures. Look at the structures that they have that's been standing for thousands of years. Look at Straight Street in Syria, a several mile long, 10 mile long street that runs through a single city, 10 miles long, Damascus. Look at the buildings on, buildings on either side of that street. What they build those out of? The sand that's on the ground. Don't you think? Tucson, all of Arizona, all of California, all of Texas have more sand than you can imagine. That builds a better wall than concrete that you can pour on your foundation on your home here today. So when they tell them they can't build with concrete, you know what? I, well, I don't want to tell you what I, what I want to think about that. But I voted for this president. I stand for this president. And I'm behind him 100% on building this wall. But again, to let you know, he didn't grandstand it. He didn't even show up for a comment. But he started it. The wall is underway today, March 26, 2018. Underway. Jody Wolf exposed.